Aaron pretty much had modern jazz down, and by that I mean uh, uh, the bebop language, the music of Dizzy Gillespie and, and Charlie Parker. Um, he studied uh, with a great uh, saxophonist from the Twin Cities, and so when he uh, came here, he really expanded on that post-bop, John Coltrane, but a large part of what he did here, he was a composition major. So a lot of what he uh, did had to do with composition, both with his classes on the classical side and then with the utilization of all of the different players that we have here on the jazz side, small groups and big band. Um, he not only wrote pieces for every imaginable uh, ensemble, but he also played saxophone uh, in them. By the time he was a senior, he had written enough compositions to uh, record and uh, to, to make his own big band CD. Won several downbeat uh, awards. Um, he won the Detroit Jazz Festival uh, composition uh, contest, but probably the largest thing he's got in uh, 2013 um, he won the ASCAP award for uh, a young composer in which he got some national attention for that. To just be around him gives one a feeling that I can do this too. He's, he's such a normal human being and when you hear him play that horn and hear his compositions, you just instantly hear uh, in the first few notes and the compositions as well, the, the, the excellence that he uh, possesses. Our, our students are here to meet the dream that they have when, when they first come in at 18 and 19 years old of being a teacher or a player or in the music business and when anyone comes back that has had the type of successful career that Aaron has had, uh, it just gives a student uh, hope. We've seen generation after generation follow the advice of uh, alumni and they end up in exactly the same place with their own uh, careers. So in summary, it makes them believe.